Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Acapella Thursday. Um, I know it's pretty late in the evening, so I'll keep this uh, recording kind of brief tonight. <laughs> so um, today has been really hectic and crazy for me. Um, so why don't we start out with a word of prayer, just because it'll it'll set us off on the right foot for going into this Acapella Thursday. So. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for this Acapella Thursday, and, and like all other Acapella Thursdays, it is such a blessing to be able to come to you as we welcome in our weekend and our Sabbath is coming up soon. Lord, we just pray that our, um, our situations and everything that we got going on this week and in our lives and everything, and it is in your precious and holy name, Father God, I pray all of these things. Amen. Okay, well, welcome back to another Acapella Thursday, everybody. I, I'm a little tired, <laughs> but um, God is is awesome, and He's getting me through today. He's He's getting us through today, and um, what I, I I did a lot of like small jobs today, but I had a very interesting end to my day. I'll tell you about that. Um, so at the end of today. Um, my boss told me that we had to go evict somebody from this house. And as you know, I'm a construction worker's helper. I'm, I'm, that's my job is to help the construction worker. But he told me today that we had to go help with an eviction. And basically what that meant was we had to throw this guy's stuff that he had in this house, all of his possessions, all of his belongings and stuff, out onto his front yard. Out, out into the, like the in his front yard, we had to throw all that out onto his front yard, and um, it it was a bit nerve wracking. I'll be honest, because Dale was like, "This guy's aggressive. I'm gonna have to get my uh, my pistol and my um, brass knuckles and bring those with me to this to this place." And um, so I really wasn't sure what to make of all that. You know, like, <laughs> how do you interpret what's about to be? You're about to throw this man's stuff out and hope that he doesn't come back and try to beat you up. But um, it all ended up working out and everything. And, and the police showed up and thankfully nobody got hurt, um, which is good, which is which is awesome. And we got all of his stuff out, put out on his front lawn and everything. It was just kind of a crazy moment of, oh, oh no, what if something happens? You know, what if something does occur? And so it really got me to thinking about um, a lot about being thankful and having joy in, in the Lord throughout all of our situations, including situations kind of like that. And um, in those times, in, 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 in any situation that you're going through, it can be hard to have faith 110% of the time. Like, we know from the Bible and from Scripture, this is what we're supposed to do, to pray without ceasing, to have faith without ceasing, to look up constantly and see God. But sometimes in the midst of turmoil and tragedy and things going on in our lives, we tend to look down and not have that 110% of faith that people in the Bible seem to have, even though a lot of people in the Bible struggled just like we struggled. And um, we... So how do we keep that joy? How do we keep that mindset of looking to the Father? And uh, a lot of it is just recognizing that on our own, it's impossible. Um, on our own, we can try to work through those situations. We may even find an outcome that is that is positive in a way. But without God being there and without God being present, it, it's not going to have the same effect. It's not going to do the same amount of what it could do with with God being present, with God being in your life. And um, ha having that faith and that blessed assurance that only he can, he can give and 
and um, knowing that God is in control no matter what happens. Even in death, God is in control. And so, um, with that said, um, our, our song for today is Give Me Joy in My Heart. And it's just a song that reflects about keeping that joy, that praising song to the Father, that the love of God through you can testify of your joy that only God can give you. And so this is uh, Give Me Joy in My Heart. <clears throat> Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising, praising, praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray hard. Keep me praising, praising, praising. Keep me praising to the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me peace in my heart, keep me loving, loving, loving. Keep me pe give me peace in my heart, I pray. Hallelujah, keep me peace in my heart, keep me loving, loving, loving. Keep me loving till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving, serving, serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Hallelujah, give me love in my heart. Keep me serving, serving, serving. Keep me serving till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Yes, <laughs> let us all sing like Hosanna to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords of our joy. And knowing that no matter what turmoil, what whatever the world deems as tragedy, whatever the thing is that's causing you to be sad, that the Lord can turn that around into joy. And he's here for you today. and He's got everything under control. Will you turn to him? Will you look to the Father? Will you give your life over to God? Will you seek out his joy with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? I so encourage you to do that today. And I hope and pray that you have a wonderful and blessed weekend that's coming up. I will see everybody next week on the next Acapella Thursday. Bye-bye!